made it to the Merrimack River today. And I've already forgotten something. I forgot my big camera. So only gonna be shooting with the GoPros today, which I mean, should be fine. Honestly, this GoPro films in pretty good quality, but honestly, first glance at the Merrimack today, it's high and calm. Typically when it's this high, it's not very calm. It's actually ripping through here. So I really don't know what that is going to do to the fish, if anything. But as you guys can tell, I have my kayak with me today. I got three fishing rods and a couple hours to figure out where the fish are. So the launch is right there and I'm going to start right here. This evening is supposed to be windy, but come seven, eight o'clock, it's supposed to die right down. So I'm not going to put up my drone quite yet. I'm just going to wait for a little bit for the wind to uh, die down. Not to mention, I think it'll be um, pretty cool getting all the lights of the highway in the city, but I'm just going to be starting off with a crankbait. And I already got it uh, stuck up in some weeds. But uh, this crankbait is a flat-sided crankbait. This is an OG Slim 6 from Rapala. And I have that tied to 12-pound Sunline fluorocarbon to basically a medium light-powered rod. And typically there is a lot of current running through here. So I don't know if I find current, that's where I'll find the fish or what, but I'm just gonna fish around, see what happens. be on some sort of bendy ass branch or something there we go I'm gonna switch over to a spook.
that a sucker? Yep. Thought it was a sucker. All right, first fish for me today is a uh, fall fish. Oh, don't hook yourself. All right, first fish for me today is just a fall fish. Is just kind of a uh, sucker. All right, so I'm just gonna work my way up this left side here to a shallow grassy flat where it's only about six feet and there's grass that come that comes up about three feet. But what I'm gonna do is kind of throw my crankbait on top of that grass and kind of rip it out. See if I can get a reaction strike going. Jeez, like what the heck? They're blowing up in front of me, but they don't want the crank. They don't want the spook. I cannot figure these fish out in the summertime. Cold water, I can catch them and I can catch some nice ones here when the water's freezing. But as soon as that water heats up here, I have no idea. Oh, I think I got one. I do. I have no idea what to do. Like there's like the average size I catch in the summertime here which is part of the reason why I wanted to come here so I could see if I could figure them out and I just don't believe that I can't get bit right now something has to trick some of these fish Look at that. Got him that time. I just had to pause it. But the fish were uh, chasing uh, my line. So maybe this crankbait is just too big? I don't wanna say it's too big because it's not very big, but that is the biggest fish today. Maybe a three quarter pounder, one pounder. Alright, so since it seems like these fish are gonna be eating tiny little bait fish, I mean those things look to be only like an inch, two inches long. What I can do is trick some of them using the Mega Bass Hazadong Shad. This is the three inch green pumpkin chartreuse. Although this one in my hand is called Disco Stain. Don't know how this one, Disco Stain, made it in there. But um, either way, just gonna rig it right up through the head like that. And if they're on a tiny little bait fish bite, this should work, in theory anyway. I'm not sure if that was a fish or what first cast, I'm not gonna lie. It was swimming off to the side and now I don't have my bait anymore. But let's get back out there. There we go. 
He's swimming at me. Okay, finally a nice one on the Hazadong Shed, on the drop shot. So maybe this Hazadong Shed will be the uh, ticket to trick some of them. This guy's not even that big, but look how hard he's fighting. Just imagine a uh, big one. So uh, after how that bite felt, I really do think that first cast was a uh, fish. All right, biggest fish so far. Not saying much. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind getting on a little Hazadong bite. Got him. Feels like a fall fish. It is a fall fish. A nice fall fish too. Okay, so I might have just figured out what these fish uh, like to hit. I honestly never use the um, Hazadong Shad here, but already showing like the most interest and I've been using it the least amount. Oh, hammered it. Wow. Okay, so I think I found out what they're gonna be hitting on. Whoa. Little smallmouth. Let's get back out there and see if we uh, can trick a big one. There we go. That one feels like a nice one. Ooh, big head shakes. Ooh, there we go. Nice one. Big head shakes on him. Uh, nice. Biggest one of the day. Nice. Now I'm pushing a pound and a quarter here. Maybe a pound point three. So it is definitely good that I found out what they're uh, biting on right now. Because, I mean, the bait fish they're chewing on, I mean, is tiny, tiny, like an inch, inch and a half. So even this Hazadong Shed is a little bit bigger than the bait they're eating, but they don't really seem to mind right now. Oh, he still might be on. He uh, is on. Didn't realize he was that tiny. Still getting bit. Let's throw the hazard on the chat over there. I'm not sure if this was the fish that was over there, but there was a fish over there attacking bait fish. Oh my gosh. That fish got eaten by another giant fish. He's lucky to survive. Yes! Oh yes, finally a nice one. Cast it over to him and these fish just cannot get away from this these has a long shed. Okay, that could be the biggest one today. Probably maybe a pound and a quarter.
there we go. Oh, it's a little guy. Super little. But uh, this is what I uh, catch. Typically just a bunch of small fish. Oh my gosh. Man, did he hammer it. This might be the biggest one of the day. It's fighting weird. Oh my gosh, that's why it's fighting weird. I just caught a giant sucker. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the size of this sucker on the spook. I mean, I've caught in bigger, but... Another swing and a miss. Another swing and a miss. Another swing and a miss. Got him that time. Get up here. All right, little small, he smashed it like three or four times. Hi. 